Hello guys, so today I will do an unboxing of the NAC, so the brand new NAC, Intel NAC. So this one is a nice 3 core processor. Okay, just released a few months ago, so it's the, the latest model and the best one. We will also install 8 GB RAM on it. So we will also install a Samsung SSD 250 GB. M2 in this machine so let's do it what is in there so pretty easy so what we got here we got HDMI network port two USB and a display port the difference with the old version it's the HDMI it's a normal HDMI so this is really great we also have now a new SD card reader, so this is perfect. Two USB ports on the front, plus an in and out audio. In the box, what do we got as well? Some documentation. We don't need that. Oh, so this is cool. With this wall plate, pretty much we can screw that to the wall and put two screws on the back of the neck. Even here, you can put two screws and after that you can attach the neck on the wall, like that. So perfect. And you can hide it behind the TV or behind everything or even behind your monitor if you want. So we got the screw for the NAC and here all the power charger, really classic, so normal one with the international adapters. Let's start and unscrew the four screw to be able to install the memory and also the SSD here. So, as you can see, you got an arrow for the front panel. So first we will install the memory. So, it's a 8 GB RAM DDR4. So, in the NAC, you got the two slots for the memory, plus a SATA port, you can see the SD card reader, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built-in, all the connectors. So what we'll do, and also here the MSATA port connector. So what we will do, we will install the memory. So just a new push. So, pretty easy to install. Second step, the Samsung SSD. So in here we got the SSD, so pretty easy to install. So you just have to unscrew first, really important, okay. You have to screw here. So, just unscrew. Gently put. Here we go. The NAC is built, so as I told you, it's pretty easy. SSD, RAM, and that's all. So now what you have to do is just put back the back cover. Here we go. 
we have a neck almost ready to go we just remove that and we got a brand new neck ready to be installed so we will put windows 10 on it i will show you how it works how to install how to configure the bios So first we will click F2 to enter the BIOS. After that we just click on Advance and we just unselect the legacy boot and we choose the UEFI boot and we just put first the USB drive. So now as, as you can see we have a nice preprocessor Intel 2.5 GHz and as you can see we have 8 GB RAM on one slot. So now we just need to save and restart. It's pretty easy now. Choose the language. For me, I will choose United States. Install now. Put your serial numbers. Put your license key. I will choose Windows 10 Pro 64 bit. So we have to click on custom. We don't have anything, so just click next. And here we go for the install. So you will have to wait for like five to ten minutes to get the install done. Restart the PC and just put a computer name. So for me, I will put Intel NUC and next. Here we go. We are now on Windows 10. As you can see, if you click here, System. We have our settings system and all information, so perfect. Thank you very much, guys. It was my first video on the Frog Tech. See you soon.